Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this effect. This is a volumetric cloud that you can have in your game. It's based on um, the exponential height fog and the volumetric fog that you can see here. Uh, so this is like the fundamental of the whole effect. If you don't have the fog or the volumetric fog inside it, you won't have the effect that you've created. So let's let's get started. I mean, if you don't have uh, an exponential height fog in your scene, just go ahead and type in fog in here and make sure you will add some of this into your scene and make sure that the volumetric fog is enabled. It's um, disabled by default, but you can just go ahead and enable it um, as you wish. Just to um, simplify things a little bit to make things a little bit more optimized you have the under the volumetric fog section section you have the view distance option it's by default it's 6000 so if you are far more far than this uh, value right here the fog won't be rendered in the scene but if you have something like 20,000 the whole fog will be rendered but it's not cheap, so keep keep that in mind. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead with the value of 10,000. Okay, so I've shown you how to create a, a volume texture. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure that you go ahead and do that. Uh, because that's like, we need that in this video. Um, so what we'll do is to we have to create our material so right click material name it something i've already created it uh as always uh i'm going to the first thing that i have to show you is to how to create the most simple local uh, volume material for yourself so something like this um this has no animation in it um this is just like the most basic one so the first one you need is the wall position so this one right here and you'll have to multiply it so hold m on your keyboard and hold s to create a parameter because we want to expose this one in the uh, material instance that we're gonna have so call it scale uh, and the default value should be 0 0.001 and then it will go into the texture sample so once you've created your volume texture um, you can just drag the volume texture inside the material like every other texture uh, and make sure this one's connected to the uh, volume texture and then we'll need a power node this one right here uh, with the default value and then add this one uh, and hold S for another parameter that's going to be exposed called bias. The default value is uh, okay to be zero. Uh, and I have another parameter exposed to make sure that I have control over the opacity of the whole effect. So make sure you hold M, multiply it, and hold S for another uh, parameter called opacity. And these two will go into the extension. The material domain should be volume. Blend mode is additive. So it will make sure that this effect is going to be added uh, on top of the volumetric fog that you have in, in your scene. So uh, no matter how little you have volumetric fog in your scene, you'll have the effect that you've created. And you'll just hold 1 on your keyboard and make sure that you type 1 on this and drag this one onto Obedo. And hit apply. Uh, this is the most basic effect you can create. But how can you use it? So make sure you find it in your content browser, right click, material instance, name it something, uh, open up the material instance. You have some control over here. 
this is by the way a material so if I find my um, my material instance I can just come in here and add a simple cube somewhere make it a little bit bigger but where is it okay and in the material section I'll have this one it's not showing anything at the moment so let's oh it is showing some things so I believe the scale value is a little bit off so maybe we could change that maybe it's um it's a little bit small i believe so maybe something like 0.5 on um, opacity bias should be a little bit more so something like this we have something that is actually working okay and it's a volume it's not like when you go inside it it will just fade out it is air um, and that's awesome okay so what about the animation part of it so the whole animation is based uh, based on a simple panner but since the world position is a um, vector 3d so we have to mask the x and y value out and animate animate either the x and y value or the z value or if we want to make sure that the z value is animated we have to do a panel uh, separately separately on the uh, on the z value as well so how we can do that coming out of the multiply from the world position we can have mask component mask and the first one is the default value rng which means x and y and then another mask uh, this one and this is for the z value uh, so an append to make sure that append vector this one to make sure that we'll combine everything uh, when we're done with them uh, and then this one goes into the b for the a value though we have the mask here and we'll type in panner this one uh, for the time value we type in time and then hold M for multiply and then we'll have to expose some parameter to it because uh, the default time value is a little bit too much for this effect um, okay so we'll just hold S for a value call it whatever we want in this case I've called it speed and this one in goes into the time in the panner area and for the uh, this one's the di direction for us so hold tree and right click convert to parameter uh, name it something I've named it direction so it means that in the X or Y uh, direction which way would you like it to go and then this panel comes into the append and then this append goes into the UV from the texture so it will be like this Hit apply okay now we have something that's um, so the speed if it's zero it has nothing the speed is the time value so we if we have one it's too much so maybe something like 0.2 Oh no. Point two. Um, and the G is the Y value, R is the X value. So we want it to go in this direction. We can go make it go that way as well. Doesn't matter. Um or we can maybe make it go that way. This is the whole fundamental of creating a local volumetric file. If you want to uh, add more details to it, you're more, more than welcome. You can add more textures, you can add more panner, you can even um, animate this part, the Z value. So the, uh, the fog is being animated in the Z value. So they go down and up, which can look cool. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, other than the optimization, 
Um, I have another video in this regard for creating a high fidelity local volumetric fog. That one is a little bit complicated, but if you want to go ahead and that way, there's a link in here or in the description that you can click on and go watch that for yourself. Um, so for the optimization part, the first thing I've told you is definitely the, uh, the view distance is uh, playing a huge role in the optimization the less value is definitely better but it will I mean if you have a really small area so something like 4,000 would do the job pretty well um, but if you want it to be visible from distance consider the uh, optimization cost that you're embracing as well so that's that's a pretty important thing to note other than that, uh, we can use some values like our um, dot value metric um, fog dot read pixel size, and these two are playing a huge role in performance as well. So uh, for the grid pixel size, lower is better quality but more expensive for the uh, grid size higher is better quality but more expensive so keep that in mind uh, and this was pretty much it i hope you like this video and if you did please hit that like button and have a great day bye